Real Chat. You ready? I am. Yes. I am. All right, well, make sure that you head over to the Real Daytime's <laughs> Instagram page and use the hashtag Girl Chat Live to join in on the conversation. You guys know that I'll be reading all your comments. Love seeing what you guys have to say. Yes. As you can see, <laughs> we have something very exciting to announce. This past Sunday, we had the honor of hosting the non-televised NAACP Image Awards ceremony, and we had so yes. much fun. Oh, was my blast. God. Awesome. Look at how fly we look. I love it. That's us. Wow. Damn. We, <laughs> guys, when the squad comes through, yes. hello, honey. <laughs> I love it. We had the best time. In addition to hosting, we didn't even get to the good part yet. Right. Yes. The Reel was also nominated in the Outstanding Talk Series category. And guess what, you guys? Because of you, yes. we won! Yes. We won! There it is! There it is. There's the proof. Seriously, we have the best fans, We really guys. do. Y'all no, are really loyal. We, yes! They are. When we asked you all to vote, you really came through and yes, voted did. for us. Thank you so much. Yeah. And that's what makes it the biggest honor, right? Yeah. That it really yeah. is a, you know what? That was a long ceremony, too. We gave out 47, 47. awards. We had to do it. I thought it was like, you know, it was like some voiceovers this was going to happen. No, there was yeah. a no, you going to announce, and you got to announce the winners. I said, for real? Yes. <laughs> and some of those names were not easy to pronounce. Yeah. No. And you know how I know? Because Tamara keep making me say all of them. I did? Yes. Yeah. Well, okay. Lonnie kept having me say them. So, so and then when I would mess it up and try to roll through it, Asia would be like, I said, well, who? I know. I, I was like, enough. who'd you say? But okay. we got it done, and we got it done yeah, on time, so too. Fun. They wanted us to end at 9. We was done we at 8.59. It. So we did our job. So, ladies, congratulations. Yes. We acted a fool, though, when we won. <laughs> oh, yeah. Jesse Smollett, thank you so oh, much yes. for actually nice. giving us our so award. Awesome. He presented it. And Lonnie just straight up sprinted. I was like, you on track team? Yes. Ran. Jeannie was shucking and jiving and doing some kind you of guys, tap dance. I've never taken lessons for tap dancing, but I tap danced that night. You yes. had a good time. She has a natural gift, people. You can actually go to the uh, real Instagram page yes. to see the actual win. We yes. have it on tape, so yes. go visit us. And we also got a chance to attend last night's televised ceremony, and it was incredible. Yes. It was hosted by Anthony Anderson, that's us on the red carpet. Wow. Honey, Love honey, it. honey. Well, what honey, we honey. gotta talk about, y'all, was the red carpet, okay? Yes. Because the red carpet was phenomenal. Oh this God. one, it, there were a lot of stars, mm -hmm. um, but I think we were waiting on Tam. This is a story, okay? Yes, yes. Because I came first, as usual. I came then at the same time as came. you, but I forgot my parking pass, so I had to walk across. Okay, <laughs> when you go to award shows, <laughs> Excuse me. Yeah. When you go to award shows, they actually have a pass so that you can be in the lane so the limo could drop you off. Mm -hmm. I forgot my pass, so I had to walk like a basic yes. from across the street to the parking lot. <laughs> Never forget your pass. <laughs> then Jeannie came. So okay. we took pictures, and then we were waiting on Tam. They said, oh, well, Tam's coming. So we went back on the red carpet. Yep, yep. Well, before, all of a sudden, it started crazy, this commotion. And everything just shut down. Yes. And so I looked at one of the ladies on the carpet. I said, what happened? This Halle Berry is coming. Oh! We shut it down. Down. Okay, so you Her guys, dress. no, but she came, and it was one of those moments where you're surrounded by celebrities, you're supposed to act real cool, like, you know, Jeannie you're on the red permission. Cover. So I go, yo, real talk? Now, this Halle is why Barry Halle's coming. taking her picture. Yes. While Halle's this, taking her picture, this she's one comes coming. to me and says, we gotta get a selfie. I'm you gonna know. do it. So I charge up the phone. That's a tip, you guys. When you're gonna ask somebody important or celebrity or whatever a picture, get I your phone ready. ready. So I get the phone ready, and then I go, yo, we're gonna do this selfie. So Adrian's like, Yo, don't get in her way, Jeannie. Don't, you know, because some girls are like... Jeannie asked me, she said, listen, will you be embarrassed if I ask for the selfie? I say, yeah, but if she says yes, I'll get in. Yeah. But I said, <laughs> exactly. Because yeah. I said, no, we get, yeah. we get that selfie. I'm like, don't, if it works, getting... I'm in. I'm yeah. like... So here's the thing. So her publicist but leads her a certain way. So she could have gone one way. So immediately, I took the girls and I just started scooting so that we created yeah. the real barricade. Yeah. So what happened is... <laughs> we was like this. this. So we went so we so 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 like this. We was like this. And then I said, Hallie, we're from the real. Will you take a selfie with us? And she said, yeah. And we like, got it. We have it. <laughs> we took a selfie with her. And what did she and say, Adrian? She goes, oh my gosh, I love you guys. I love you girls. I love you ladies. Come on the show. I know. 
No, but her no. body, y'all. Did her you see her body? body? Oh yeah. And let oh, me tell you, I, I had my Mariah, like you had your Mariah yes. moment. That was my Mariah moment oh. because she was leaving and she turned back around yes, yes. and she said, Lonnie. She said, I love you and I love it. And I was like, and I kept it together. I kept it together. Yes, she did. Right? But when she turned around, we lost I it. lost it. Oh! <laughs> yes. Oh my God. Can we talk about that? I what kind it. of what muscle is that that she had going yeah, on? I don't know. She, she looks oh fabulous. God, she looks amazing. Dress. She works hard for the body. I'll she tell works you that. hard, but she they shut. I didn't realize that. You know, when you're an A-list like that, they shut everything down yes. and they just like everything yes. stops. You know, you nobody goes anywhere. I was like amazed at that. I was just like, and then Tam came behind her, and you know what? Tam followed her right on. Oh, yes, you did. <laughs> yes, you did. <laughs> Well, you guys, the other highlights from last night's ceremony mm. included Carrie Washington, yes. Tracy yes. Ellis Ross, Laverne Cox, Journey Smollett Bell, oh. Mia Waith, and Angela Robinson Beautiful. holding hands to show support for the Time's Up movement and urging people to get out there and vote. I love that. Ava DuVernay also took home the award for Entertainer of the Year. Girls Trip won for Outstanding yes. Film. Yes. ABC's hit show Blackish won the award for Outstanding Comedy Series. Awesome. Wait a minute, you guys. But when Miss Jennifer Lewis <laughs> went up to accept, you guys, she dropped the award. That was it. Oh, oh my God. It was hilarious. But I have to say, the award is pretty it's, heavy. It's heavy. This, yes. is, this is really heavy, you guys. It's a it very is. heavy award. And so what happened was, because I was sitting there, she was talking, and she, you know, Jennifer gets grandioso at times. Yes. Da, 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 and it went just like that. Doom. And it was hilarious because everybody, that Picture. stopped this whole speech, everything. And then we all got a good laugh out of it. But it was really good. Also, I want to mention that Danny Glover got the President's Award last uh, night. So uh, For NAACP. That's and, um... Also, I want to say that uh, Lena Waithe, mm -hmm. I saw her at the after party, yeah. and I was like, now this is how you know, your, this is the picture that we took. You I know you her. coming up in, with your show, because I was like, Lena, are you going to come on the show? She said, girl, I'm already booked on the show. Yeah. I was like, oh my God, she's so oh, I didn't know that. Okay. Wait for it. She'll be here. I'm now, so speaking of, so cool. of big announcements, we had a good time. So I just want to thank again the NAACP yes. for allowing us thank to have you. a good time. And thank you to the fans. Fans, because now, of thank you. you. But there are some other big announcements okay. that we need to talk about. Okay. 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 Everyone what? knows that I'm Auntie Lonnie. Uh -huh. Yes. But Tamara, you're going to yes. be an auntie again soon. I know. Your twin sister, I know. Tia, I is know. pregnant with her second child. I know, you guys. And I tell know. them what it is. You guys, she's having a girl. <laughs> now, she actually did a big announcement of she her did. baby's gender. So let's check out yeah. the sweet reveal. Now for the moment we've all been waiting for my gender reveal. So, let's find out. We're having a girl! We're having a girl! Now, what I want to put out there is, of course, she, you know, we all knew she was having right. a girl because she told us, but she wanted to do something special yes. for her fans, and I think it was really cute. It's it a great so idea yeah. to do the cute little cake pop. So well, cute. So our going to have a little thing. Yeah, That's what I'm really excited about, because as you guys know, I talk about it all the time, how Aiden and Cree are really, really okay. close. And I remember, you know, begging Tia to have oh another baby so Araya can have, you know, uh, a little bestie as well. And I am so excited, you guys. And it turned so out to excited. be a girl. And it turned out to be a girl. Yes. We are such twins. Yes. Our last married names start with H. H. And now she's having a girl after having a boy. Oh, yeah, wow. they got such a blessing. Thing. That's yes, the yes. Same um, Congratulations, Tia. Yeah. No, that's just so, we're so excited. She's glowing, so beautiful. She's so, yes. so, yeah. so very happy. And you she, know, people keep getting it mixed up because they think that you're pregnant. And I have to keep correcting them. It's Tia that's pregnant, <laughs> not yes, Tamara. Because they're like, oh, when's the... I'm like, Tamara's not pregnant. Yeah. It's Tia. They keep mixing you yeah. guys up. Well, it's 50-50 so. chance. We've kind of been going through that. 
our entire life. You know, our twins, yeah. Tia, Tamara, whoever. That's hysterical when you say it like that, though. It's a 50-50 chance. It okay. is. Okay. One of us. It I is. love it. Still now, to this day, sometimes I get called Tia, and hey, it's a compliment. I think she's she's awesome. She's amazing. Yes. So. That's your sister. That's my sister. All right. <laughs> That's my friend. Well, yes. <laughs> from an unexpected, what from an expecting mom to an outspoken one, Selena Gomez's mom, Mandy, has finally broken her silence on what she thinks about her daughter's rekindled relationship with Justin Bieber. Uh -oh. uh, so in this interview with Gossip Cop, Mandy said that she is, quote, not happy about the relationship and hasn't spoken to Bieber in years, not even through text message. So regarding her daughter, Mandy said, quote, Selena can live her life however she wants as long as she is happy, safe, and healthy. Mm. She is 25 years old and knows what is at stake with her health. She is an adult and can make her own choices. Wise words, mom, of course. Yes. But ladies, what would you do if your mom wasn't as happy about the guy you are seeing? My oh, mom ain't got to sleep with him, so I don't know what the problem is. <laughs> That's so true. <laughs> Ultimately, that that is true, though. <laughs> that is. I mean, it's it's... It was definitely hard for me because my mom was, you know, very, very much involved. And looking back, I actually thank her for that because, you guys, sometimes moms know, know what's best. up. Yeah. I'm just saying. They do, yeah. know, they do know best. And I've talked about this before as well. My mom has discernment. Mm -hmm. So sometimes I wouldn't, if I knew it wasn't going to work out, I wouldn't even show yeah. a picture or introduce her or introduce my boyfriend to her because I knew already what she yes. was going, what she was going to say. But speaking, you know, as a, a parent, I know sometimes, you know, it's hard to let go. Mm -hmm. And I kind of really feel, you know, for Selena's mom because, yes, she is a grown woman and you kind of have to watch your, your kids make decisions for themselves, but it's not, it's not easy. It's not always easy. And it's not always easy. I learned that recently too, because my mom, before I got married, and with any guy I dated before, she was always very hard on them. Yeah. And then today, now going through divorce, you guys, I'm starting to change the house, like, you know, take the pictures down to emotionally yeah. move forward. Not mama my, she still has all his pictures still <laughs> up of our wedding and everything. Yeah. yeah. And, it, and, and, and I, I, I laughed for a second. I was like, mom, come on, like, you gotta move on, like, take the pictures down. She's like, no. You break up with him, he don't break up with me. <laughs> <laughs> and at first it was, it was like, okay, that's a little weird. It's, like, let's move on. But then I realized <laughs> when you go through what you go through in your, in your relationships, they go through it too. The, she raised me. She, she, when she said, I carry you, you, I have your heartbeat inside of me. When you hurt, I hurt. And I, I need to deal with, I, she needs to heal herself as well. It's not just I'm healed, band-aid off, mom's yeah. ready. She's like, I'm dealing with this too. So true. So it's just something you have to understand that I get Mandy, I so get her. So true. Mom. After getting out of a relationship for a long time, uh, my mom was like, I oh. knew that that was not the one for you. And I turned around and was like, why didn't anyone tell me? Mm. And they were like, we did. You just <laughs> didn't listen. Oh. And I didn't realize that, that they actually were telling me, like, this is not one for you. And I, I find it so crazy, like you said, when a parent sees their child hurting, they hurt too. Yes. Yeah. And I think absolutely. a parent always wants the best for their child. But at the same time, my mom let me do me. And I had to figure it out for myself. And when I did, yeah, I had to figure it out for myself. And then when I did, and I obviously now I'm married to Israel, my mom told him one day, she said, thank you for bringing me my baby girl back. Because she oh, said God. she would watch this show and it would break her heart. Oh my God. It would break her heart to be like, that's not my daughter talking. Yeah. When she says, I'm not affectionate. I don't like hugs. Don't hold my hand. <gasps> She's like, that's not my daughter. Like, that's yeah. not the way my, my daughter's a loving girl. She's affectionate. Mom's so to, when you get the right kind of love that you need, it brings you back to the person that you truly are. Yes. And an influence of a man in your life can change who you are. And your mom can see that first. Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, the influence and they have on you. I mean, did she ever say, your mom, did she, when you were in your previous yeah. relationship, she said... The weird thing is, she loved him. She just didn't love him for, for me. You. Yes. That doesn't mean that yeah. they're a bad person. They could yeah. be made, they're just not for me. I was changing. I was a different person when I was with that person. Um, and that just wasn't who... God wanted me to be. That's not who God well, called me what to be. Do you, well, what do you say to your mother if she is feeling some type of way, but you don't? What advice do we give to people? Well, I would say it's important to hold your mom's hand 
through what you're going through with you with what you're going through. If you love somebody and your mom doesn't understand, try to bring them together so they have their own personal time. Because if you really trust your person, your man, they're going to exhibit the things that you fell in love with. Mm -hmm. And if they don't, she's gonna see that and she's gotta stay true to who she is. You can't force it. You gotta let mom be your mom, guide you, protect you to be safe, happy and healthy which are great words for a mom to remember, and let her see the truth in who he is, but let them hang out so that discernment and the Holy Spirit got to do that magic. I if it ain't to... there, it ain't there. I have to say, my, my mom did a very great job. I'll never forget the conversation. I was 26 years old, and she said, listen, I trust the way that I raised you. Mm -hmm. I am proud of the person that you have become mm -hmm. to be. Yeah. So if you mess up, that's on you. <laughs> It worked. It was reverse psychology. <laughs> okay. so, right. Thanks, Mom. Thank you for that. <laughs>